see this chair. A few days ago, it was actually off-white. There were some stains on it that I just could not get out, so I decided to go ahead and dye it blue. I am new at attempting DIY projects, and I am so proud of how this project came out. It feels like a really big win, and I'm excited to share the steps with you. Here's the before. It was actually a free chair I found on the side of the road. The first step was cleaning it because I didn't want there to be anything on top that would prevent the dye from settling in. I used this Bissell carpet cleaner. The rest of the supplies I used for this project were a mug. These are the two brushes that I used. The dye was the pearl gray from RIT along with evening blue. I used two bottles of the Color Stay Fixative and a spray bottle to put them in. I used a mug so that I could keep the water hot. I do not plan on using this mug anymore for drinking. I also put plastic drop cloth underneath it to prevent the dye from going onto the floors, a hair dryer, and a fan to help with the drying throughout the process. I used this little medicine cup for measuring because I knew I could throw it away right after I was done using it with the dye. I made sure to test the dye the night before to see what the dye would do to the fibers. I considered doing this outside, but I opted for my kitchen so that I could do small batches of boiling water to keep it hot. I boiled a cup and a half of water each time. I did five milliliters of both the blue and the gray, but this will depend on how rich and dark you're hoping the dye will be at the end. More dye will give darker fabric. Be sure to shake the bottles each time. Once the water was boiling, I poured it into the mug and then I poured in the dye, gave everything a little stir and got to work. First, I went in with a larger flat paintbrush, trying to get an even base layer started. It's important to try to get it as even as possible because as things start to dry, they're gonna dry at a different rate and it's going to look uneven no matter what. Be sure to work the dye into all the little nooks and crannies of the piece. If you end up with a drip of excess dye, try to chase it with your paintbrush right away while everything is hot to even it out. Here's how it looked after the first layer of dye. Note that everything is going to look much darker wet than it looks dry, so keep that in mind as you're considering the color. I immediately went in with a second layer, but I think it would have absorbed more of the second coat if I had given it a chance to dry a little bit first. This time I used circular motions and the round brush to encourage the dye to settle into the texture of the design. Tapping or wiping the brush on the edge of your cup is going to help prevent those drips we talked about. Next, I poured one bottle of the Fixate into the spray bottle and then sprayed the chair following up with a hair dryer after to help it set with heat. Here's what it looked like. I put a fan on it to help dry it overnight and then my husband and I brought it outside in the morning. So far, so good. Then I rinsed it all off to get rid of any excess dye that might have been sitting on the top. Didn't want this to transfer to our clothes later. Some people online said that they didn't rinse it and didn't have any issues with the transfer later, but we have a toddler roaming around our house often and I was afraid of what would happen if I didn't rinse it and if it got wet down the road. I got scared here because it did look pretty uneven in spots as it was drying, but it all worked out and here it was the next day. It was a little lighter than I had hoped and a little bit of a green blue, so I went in back in and I changed the ratio of the dye. The first layer I did 3 fourths blue and 1 fourth gray, and the second layer I actually did completely gray to try to tone down the green hue. I ended up using the round brush for both layers this time just because I felt like it was giving me more control over where the dye was going and it was settling into the details of the chair better. Once I was on the second layer, I immediately followed each section of dye with a section of fixative and then sprayed it with a hair dryer. So I dyed one part and then sprayed the fixative and then used the hair dryer before moving on to the next. Rinsed everything off again. Keep the chair outside if it's fairly warm. If you have it drying indoors, be sure to keep a fan on it to prevent mildew. Here's the final result after it was done drying. Of course, there are a few imperfect spots, but it's really hard to tell, especially inside. And overall, I'm just so proud of how this turned out. I think it looks great. There is a part of me that wants to try to tone down the green just a little bit more, but I love it. I am not a DIY or home expert, but I do want to give you the confidence and courage to try new projects so that you can create a home that you love. So if that's a plan that you're on board with and you want to learn alongside with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 